Looks like we got a website emergency down here. Website has no marketing, no email marketing, no social media marketing of any kind. And it's not even ranking on the first page of Google over. 10-4, Mighty Mike and his marketing SWAT team are in route. Over. You are listening to Business Marketing 911 with Mighty Mike and his marketing SWAT team. So buckle up and get ready because the episode is beginning in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. What's up you guys? Mighty Mike here and guys I'm excited about today. Um, you know, I got one of the coolest guys, uh, coming on. He's got his own show. He's a, I mean, we're going to have a lot of fun today, but before we dive into it, okay. I want you guys to do me a favor. We got to make Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter happy. And I need you guys to bang the heart button that works for you. I mean, you like the, you like the Facebook, you know, you like the YouTube, you like the hearts, do it, do what's right. Okay. Make them happy. All right. We're going to dive in. I'm going to introduce my guest, but also comment your website below. As you guys know, this website, this whole show is about helping people fix their websites and helping them rank, okay? I'm giving $3,000 in website credits away to someone who comments their website domain below. We we live stream every Wednesday at 9-1-1 on both Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. You guys can go check it out pretty soon on LinkedIn. And so without further ado, let's dive in to something I'm really excited about. My guest today is an author, an entrepreneur, a consultant, a digital marketing architect with a passion for helping other startups and small businesses with their sales funnels, their websites, And he prides prides himself on his ability to uh, connect with people and to speak in the language that they understand. A lot of the techno babble and stuff like that can can get really overwhelming. And so I'm going to go ahead and bring on Mr. Jason Wright. Welcome, man. What's happening? Thanks for uh, having me on. This is cool. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I've been watching you for a long time with the email marketing stuff you got going on with uh, Active Campaign. You know, we'll just before we dive into it because I'm like a geek. I'm geeking out here with having you on the show. So, but let's take just a minute. Tell us a little bit about you and your personal life. Yeah, what do you want to know? Where, where should I start? So, I guess <laughs> when I'm not working, um, I really like to be outside. You know, I love uh, playing golf. I'm um, getting excited because deer season is coming to Central Indiana soon. So, I love to hunt, love to fish. So, I uh, just love being outside. And you know, with me working in front of the computer all day, you got to get up and get away from it. So, I go to the extreme. And uh, today's another beautiful day. So, I'll probably be in the golf course again later today as well. So, <laughs> that's so cool. Yeah. I got to tell you, you know, on a personal note, me and my girlfriend went to this place called Top Golf. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and it was fun. It was cool. Uh, but then for three days, I couldn't straighten my arm, <laughs> like both arms. And yeah. I, I, Jason, I Googled it and it said that it could be eight weeks. And I was like, I can't do this. <laughs> like, I can't walk around like this everywhere I go. <laughs> Gives you an excuse to work on your robot dancing. <laughs> you know, I was like, luckily with a computer, you can just, oh, you know, yeah. yep. so <laughs> definitely love golf. We had a lot of fun. So, um, yeah. So, and then you got kids, right? Yep. So I've got a son who's a freshman and I've got a daughter who's in uh fifth grade. So yep. that's so cool. So, so one of the things I like to do is help people understand why I bring on certain guests, right? You know, you got a website. For those of you guys who haven't watched the show, this is only the third episode. Um, the, the whole idea here is that you have a website. Maybe you built it yourself. Maybe you used my mighty website builder or, um, you know, maybe uh, someone else built it for you, right? The idea is, is you need to bring traffic to it, okay? So we're going to, at the end of the show today, uh, you're going to see us review a site, uh, servedocs.net. So if you're watching right now, you can get start to get excited because servedocs.net is what we're going to be reviewing. You can go check it out yourself if you want to. Um, but Jason, tell us, uh, what is your what is your expertise? What, in your own words, what is it that you specialize in? Yeah, so really, I, I work with the full sales funnel, and the, and the way I explain that to people is there's there's three pieces to the machine that everybody wants to be uh, benefiting from, right? There's the front end, there's the pages and things that people interact with. There's the back end where the real magic happens. That's the email marketing, all the marketing automation. 
And finally, there's the traffic, right? You got to get people to the front end uh, to make things work. So I focus on kind of the strategy and all that. And, you know, obviously, uh, in some cases, the architecture as well. Okay. Yeah. And so for, for those of you guys who don't know what Jason's talking about is essentially your website, you know, there's some software out there called like click funnels or different lead pages stuff. And the idea is that you're funneling through certain pages, but with, but actually it's much bigger than that, right? Like if you, if you enlarge your funnel, actually you got your podcast, you got your blog, you got all of these are like the entry points of your funnel. Now it starts to be much bigger because now you're tying your blog into your email marketing campaigns. You're tying your email marketing campaigns into your Google review automation, right? And so now it's all starting to become one cohesive uh, thing. And so, you know, you specialize in something that is actually very hard to 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 learn and to master the whole email marketing thing. And we can, you know, we can dive into it. Why don't we just get right into it? So what so what are a couple of things that what do you see, first of all, is the problem when someone's trying to set up a proper email campaign for their business? One of the problems is um, most people look at it as a last priority. Ah, I'll get to that later. I'll get to that later. But in fact, it's probably the thing they should start with, right? Mm-hmm. Email is the only place that you can still actually kind of own your your traffic, right? Your list is your list and you can move it through different providers. So for that reason, it's very, very valuable. And the way I approach email is I use it as relationship building, right? You come into my world, there's going to be a getting to know you period. And most businesses ignore that. And it's called a welcome sequence. You know, it's one to four emails that say, this is where you are. This is what you can expect. Uh, If I haven't given you the free thing you wanted, here it is. And, uh, you know, let's go. So it's just like if a new person moved in next door to you, you're not just going to go over there and be like, I need sugar. You're going to introduce yourself. You're going to get to know them. Figure out if that's a safe move. Right. There's a whole process. So if you think of email marketing the same way you do real life relationships, I think it makes it less intimidating and hopefully let you wrap your mind around the power of it because it's very powerful. Absolutely. So, so when it comes to like email marketing and you're trying to set up your, your marketing, like let's say I got a website. Yep. I think uh, one thing a lot of people don't realize, especially like in the legal industry, yep. you know, um, they live and die by their emails. You know, yep. um, some industries aren't like that, right? Like if you own a burger joint on the corner, email marketing is vital, like super important, uh, maybe even more so text marketing nowadays, yep. um, you know, geolocation type stuff, notification stuff. But but even even though email marketing is still powerful because you can use it to drive people back to your website. Right. And then Google loves that. So I think if people understand, I'll ask you, would you say that one of your, the number one things you're doing in your email marketing campaign, like is to make Google happy or is it to make the potential customer happy? What is your focus when you're, when you're creating this campaign? Yeah. So you've got automations, you know, things that run for you as people move through different parts of your funnel. And then you've got broadcast or campaign messages. So in my world, I'm sending out emails every week, which I love. A lot of people hate writing. I love writing emails, but sometimes my focus is just to educate. Other times it's just to entertain. And, uh, you know, other times beyond that, it's to move them forward in the customer journey. So maybe they found me, like you said, on social media, read a blog, uh, got into my email list and then, uh, you know, certain points in time, I may have a new service offering or I may have a new idea and email can help people learn about that and, and kind of move forward in their customer journey, starting an awareness and going to, you know, paying customer as well. Okay. Yep. Yeah. And so taking them on to that next level, right? Is this yeah. kind of like the no like trust? So like someone knows you, you know, or hot, maybe it's more like hot leads, cold leads, warm leads, hot leads is, do you think the email marketing plays a a really big role in that or? Yeah, it can, because, you know, we're all consumers of products and services. So uh, I can be a hot customer for a company for a while, then become cold and then become hot again. So everybody's the same way with, you know, our brands and services as well. So the key to it, when you really boil it down is just being consistent in your communication. You know, so a mistake a lot of people make with email is they use it to sell, sell, sell. And then once they're done with whatever their their plan is, they stop. They stop communicating and they get these big lists that kind of go dead and uh, kind of lose their value because you never built that relationship. So let's so that makes a lot of sense. So let's talk really quick, uh, Jason, about a couple of issues that I have the biggest trouble with. Okay. Okay. Um, 
I will nurture a list. I'll do all of the white hat things they talk about doing. Like you collect emails um, from people who want to hear from you, right? Like in a Google spreadsheet or something like that. And then I'll upload them to my email marketing campaign. Uh, and then, you know, like for example, uh, MailChimp or active campaign, the, where I had the most problems with was MailChimp. You know, I'd upload it to, to them and then I would send out an email and they would say that someone marked it as spam or they would say it, you know, and this is like, you know, and I've heard this with from a lot of people. It's like, how am I supposed to send out mass email marketing when if my domain keeps getting shut down? What are some tips you would give to, to help with that? Yeah, focus on the conversation, focus on giving value before you focus on selling. Um, and you're, you know, you'll have spam complaints once in a while. Hopefully they're way less than 1%. But, uh, if you just focus on giving value and you, you build a relationship, people will figure out very quickly what your goals are with email. You can sell without selling, right? Mm -hmm. One of my favorite things to do is to tease a new offer, say, Hey, I'm thinking about this. Here's the price for it. Here's what it includes. Give me some feedback. Mm -hmm. And I don't even create new stuff unless I have people that are like, I want to buy it even before it exists. So that's different. It's a different experience from the consumer than, hey, you need to buy this now. Blah, 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 blah. So instead mm -hmm. of sticking it down their throat, it's like, man, look at this this awesome, cool thing. You want to touch it? What do you think? Kind of yeah. neat, huh? So uh -huh. sell without selling is a, a strategy that I'm embracing mm -hmm. for email and, and all of my business, honestly. Simply making people aware of what you can do for them is enough. Yeah. Yeah. I always go back to the no like trust thing. It's like, you know, I've had some people say, why do you make lives? You know, I actually traveled I from lives. California. <laughs> yeah. I travel as we're live right now. Right. Yeah. I actually, actually, Jason, I traveled uh, for a conference one time for, uh, to Orlando, which is, happens to be where I live now, yeah. uh, all the way from California. And I was speaking to a guy and he was like, why do you do lives all the time? Like he, he I said, after he just told me everything about me and I didn't know who he was at all. Yeah. I says, well, you know me, right? And he goes, yeah. And he goes, well, that's why. That's the first step. No, like, yeah. trust. I said, do you like me? He goes, yeah, you're cool. I like some of the things you say is cool. And then I said, so you know and like me. I said, so if I somehow provide you value or give you something for free, you know, teach you something, help you go a bridge to something you weren't able to do before, now you're going to trust me. Yeah. So now if I ask you to buy from me, you're probably going to buy from me. Yep. So that's good. So, all right, good, good, good. So what would you say, because there's so many different softwares out there, and I know you love one, Yeah. but what would you say if someone was trying to choose one, what should they consider? So I'm an active campaign guy, and I'll tell you why. It's because I'm a very visual person, right? I use digital whiteboards every day. I use active campaign every day because when I'm discussing a strategy with a client or thinking about it for myself, if I can draw little pictures and see what I'm talking about, everything works for me. Mm -hmm. And I found that when I talk to most clients, um, everybody's confused. Doesn't matter if they make millions of dollars a year, everybody's confused about this stuff. It gets really overwhelming. But when I can draw it out and talk, like, oh my mm -hmm. God. And then when I say, hey, with active campaign, when we set up your automations and I explain one time how they work, you can look at it and at least understand what's supposed to be happening. And mm -hmm. it works really well. So if you like visual stuff, uh, I'm a big fan of it for that reason. Uh, and it works. It's powerful and it works. So mm -hmm. um, is there other stuff out there that's uh, that's good? Yeah. Is there a lot of stuff that's bad? Yeah, I've used a lot. So it's just my opinion. <laughs> So, so, so you use active campaign, but um, yeah. and, you know, because it's visual yep. and you can kind of draw with their little whiteboard feature. I can tell you, for those of you who don't have any experience in this, I'll tell you, you know, MailChimp is one that a lot of people go to because of their initial uh, setup is free up to like 2000 people, but there's caveats, you know, and also uh, while it's not that difficult, it's a lot more difficult than active campaign, you know, yeah, it's I, a lot I, more limited too. Yeah. And I think I pay maybe like $15 or 25 or it's not very much, you know, cause yeah. I'm, uh, so yeah. And so the thing is, is if you're looking around 2000, uh, contacts, you can get in very cheap, you know, very, very cheap, inexpensive. Um, and then the, what you can do with it too, with review automation. So let's say you have a small business. What is your favorite way to, um, to automate reviews? Have you used uh, active campaign for that purpose? Yeah, I, I just built one for somebody yesterday, actually. But uh, my favorite thing to do with automations is uh, for reviews is I, I want a manual start. So what I mean is just because we've worked together, I may not want to ask you for a review. And this is for every business owner to think about. So if you have a manual start, you can say, hey, Mike seems pretty happy with our stuff. 
um, I'm going to go ahead and drop him this automation, send him a couple emails over a week or two. And as soon as he takes action, they'll stop. But after that runs out, if he doesn't, I want to be notified from Active Campaign and just encourage me to jump on a quick call with him and see if he'll do that for me. So mm -hmm. a lot of people are like, well, I just want to, you know, do this in the emails and automate it, which is great. But I think if you add that final step of just jump on a quick call, or, hey, would you mind doing this for me? You're going to get more reviews. But being able to control who gets uh, invited to that's very important. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so like, so now, did you set up your, your reviews where, uh, what they call, what Google calls review gating? I don't know or, what that is. Uh, so like, so where, um, so if they, if they are happy with your service, then it'll just automatically take them to a Google listing. And then if they're unhappy, it'll take them to a survey. So you're gating it. So if someone's like, well, I don't like you're saying manual. So it's not, it's not probably not that. Right. I mean, anybody could look me up on Google and leave a review. I can't stop them. But mm -hmm. the people I know have had a great uh, experience. I usually say, hey, would you leave me a review? I say, yeah, it'd be great. Mm -hmm. So I just send them a link to Google reviews that way. Or if I'm going to automate it, I could just drop them into that automation. So I'm not mm -hmm. gating it. I'm just uh, choosing who I mm -hmm. invite to the process. But anybody could do it. Mm -hmm. I see. So the difference is, is you're initiating it. That's why you're calling yeah. it manual. Okay. Yeah. Yep. yeah. So I have it set up a lot of times where, uh, with legal customers is that it'll just auto send ev to everyone, but, yeah. the, but you have to gate it cause you, yeah. you're going to get people who are going to give you uh lower reviews. It's just natural. That's just yeah. what happens out of a thousand. You're going to get five that are going to say, you know, ah, it was okay. We won the case, but you know, <laughs> Mike was too aggressive with me. <laughs> I didn't have any cookies waiting for me or whatever. Like, you know, and I've had reviews from people that I served, you know, as a process server, you know, people that found me and left me a review. I'm like, you weren't my customer. I served <laughs> you legal documents. How yeah. can you leave me a review? We so, live in that world, man. Yeah, <laughs> I said can find a way, they'll find a way. So. Yeah, I said, Well, pay your rent and I won't have to come back to your trailer park. It was it felt so good. I was like <laughs> You know, so good stuff. Well, let's go ahead and dive in. You guys, um, I have a little commercial that I usually queue up that I'm going to make shorter. But uh, long story short, uh, let's see here. Let's just show you this. Um, I'll stop it before it's over. Actually, I'm totally off script right now. But right after a word from our sponsors, <laughs> Jason, Jason and I are going to dive into some website reviews. This episode is brought to you by MightyWebsiteBuilder.com. We have over 100 templates, and now with our Google Analytics integration and our SEO optimization tools, as well as our social media tools, you can help your website rank. Boom! Jason, are you ready to dive into some website insight today? You know I am. Let's go. Cool, man. All right, let me go ahead and share my screen. Today we are reviewing ServeDocs.net. And this is the landing page. And guys, we're um, guys. So first of all, I want to caveat and say because I had a customer that was a little upset. I'm not going to mention her name, but I want to tell you guys that any kind of review that we do of your websites is constructive. We want to help you. Okay, we, help us help you. Yep. You submit your docu you submit your uh, your your website in. You have two people who make money by by building websites, building uh, funnels, uh, marketing experts here that are going to help you. We're going to dive into this, so we will be a little rough. Basically, just honest, I guess, is the best way to say it, right, Jason? Yeah, absolutely. Cool. So, what is the first thing that you get from this? What do you see right off the bat here? Uh, first thing I get is I have no idea where I'm at. I have no idea what this is. Yeah. Yeah, so so let's assume I searched. Uh, okay, process serving notary. Okay, so let's assume I search. I like to do that, right? Because because what's the intent of the customer? So let's say I'm looking for a process server, right? Which is someone who delivers legal documents, or, or a notary. But let's just say assume I'm here for process serving, and I land on here. Mm -hmm. Um. I guess maybe if I lived in this area, right? Maybe I recognize this building. Yep. But if I don't live in this area and recognize this building, I'm kind of like, okay. Um, Definitely um, need a headline here of some kind. Kind of tell us what uh, what we're looking at or what we should be thinking about. Mm -hmm. Like maybe a phone number up here in the top right. Even yeah, even a phone number, even like a, just a link to book a quick call on Calendly, you know, calendar link or something. Yep. Mm -hmm. But I think that headline's huge because uh, even if I clicked on this from Google. 
I might be like, wait, what? Where am I at? You know, I'm going to probably right. scroll, but right away it's, it's kind of that, uh, I'm not sure where I'm at, you know? Mm -hmm. There's like a design. I feel like there's a little bit of a design uh, issue and this, the picture is slightly pixelated too. So I think, uh, and I'm, and I'm guilty of this too, uh, Jason, I've, I've actually in times where I was like, like I found this cool video of these, like these blocks that like move, you know? And I was like, I want that as a background, you know, I don't yeah. know why I just wanted it. And then after looking at it on mobile, it was like pixelated and different, like this big giant block. It wasn't a whole bunch of blocks that look cool. I was like, okay, fine. So I just found a really nice image that not only loaded faster, but it wasn't like, um, it didn't cause issues on different devices. And so, Sometimes you might want to show this picture because it means a lot to your area, to your town. But what if I'm from Los Angeles, for example, because I do know the industry well. What if I'm from Los Angeles and I'm looking to have something served in your area? Assuming this is the, like your main pitch, right? And this is the building that's going to uh, help locals know I'm in the right place. I'm not from your place, so I have no idea what's the city here. Right, am I missing that? Let me see. Counties. Okay, here are the counties. But if I'm looking for a specific city, I don't know. So, that, so that's just one little tip. What else do you see, Jason? Uh, so far, I don't see any way to get on your email list, which is uh, every every company out there should have a way, and it shouldn't be join our newsletter. Nobody wants to join anybody's newsletter, but I don't see any uh, value exchange. Okay. Hey, drop us a line here. Contact us. It's a very standard, like, uh, yeah. contact us. Let's see. Sometimes I like to look down here and see, but I don't see anything here that says who, what they built it on. But it, it's kind of like a Vista Print website, maybe. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, drop us a line. So, yeah. So just a couple things you guys are going to hear all the time is when you try to extend past your knowledge or ability to design. Uh, that's when it starts to become apparent. You know, you ever hear how? Um, Jason, you ever hear how like when you hear public speakers uh, speaking up there and they get nervous and like there's some kind of saying that says that, you you know, you only see they only see like 2 percent or 10 percent of your nervousness. And oh, so, yeah. when, so when you're like pretty really nervous, they don't even see that you're nervous at all. No. So they have to, only the people in the front row could even get any hint that you're nervous. And so you feel like everyone can see your head on, on fire. And so, <laughs> <laughs> but it's not the case. And I feel like that's what it is with websites is like, if you understand that if you do the basics and you do the basics really well, then people are going to notice that and they're yep. going to see, wow, this person's really professional. Boom. There's the phone number. Let me call them. Uh, like you said, booking a call, being a notary, uh, you really have to have your schedule in order because you have to be to that person's place on time. You have to like have, make sure they have everything in order. Uh, and then you have another appointment. So this would be a great place. Um, I don't know this person's first name. I got it somewhere here, but this would be a great place to go ahead and put a scheduling tool like Calendly. Yep. You know, book a book an in person uh, notary appointment. Also, this might be some uh, an, an, a business idea, but add something like e notary. Now they're doing the e notary, which they call Ron Remote Online Notary, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. And so, having something more advanced like that, you could do a Calendly tool right here on your website and um, be virtual. You know, make some money, same amount of money, but sitting at your at home. So. Uh, as far as serving docs, I like the logo. What do you think about the logo? Yeah, it's fine. I, I don't think logos make or make people lose money per se. Um, so yeah, I'm good with it. Yeah. I think the big things that are jumping out to me, let's get a headline, let people know where they're at and what they're looking for. And let's, uh, you know, let's make a, a really good either calendar button or even like you said, even a phone number is better than an email form, I think. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Let's, let's get in contact. And here you have a get in, get in touch. Click that, see what happens. Yeah, it just reloads the page. Oh, boy. Got to yeah. have buttons that work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right away, if your buttons aren't working and uh, and it, there's just any kind of generic images, sometimes is really bad. I like this. Uh, I'd make this image smaller or make this widget smaller somehow because this is pixelated mm -hmm. uh, slightly, but it is. Let's see here. Okay, National Notary. Very good. Any kind of authority or reviews. Are really good. Uh, same thing with this. These images are too big. 
I think if you just made them smaller, this big image, it's one image probably. If you just make it smaller, it'll look better. Uh, let's see here, please. Contact us for pricing. Okay, here's a phone number. All right, first time I found the phone number all the way at the bottom here. Yep. Uh, I'm assuming the button at the top was supposed to scroll to this spot, but. Mm -hmm. That's a good assumption. Yeah, get get in touch would, would scroll, and they call it anchor, to, anchor link, and it'll take yep. them here. Yeah. Yeah, and so assuming I was trying to hire a process server, I would be, I mean, think about it like this. You say, oh, you guys are just being nitpicking, but think about think about this. You know, if, you, if that's who you are and you're thinking you guys are just nitpicking right now, think about the fact that when I first got to this, I was immediately thrown off by this giant image up here and did not see the area right away. If that's the case within the first five seconds, there's a lot of there's a lot of people that talk about that, Jason. I'm sure you've heard where they where you get like five seconds. And if it looks like I'm not gonna find what I'm looking for right away, back I'm just button. Yep. back button. Yep. And you know why? Because let's do a quick search. Actually, let me see their area. Um hood. Yeah, Donald Miller from StoryBrand says something along the lines of I'm gonna paraphrase, but People don't want to use their brains to figure out what's going on on your website. They want a bit of look and understand where they are right away. And if they're not, they're going to go find a website that gives them what they want right away. Mm -hmm. Think about how much information is coming at us a day. So we've got to make things very easy to understand, very easy to, to digest for that reason. That's true. Make it quick, make it easy, make it. Yep. Uh, and we know because like, you know, if I know I can go get something on Amazon and a big giant bag of dog food and I, you know, a hundred dollars a year or whatever, pay for prime. Now I don't have to carry it up the stairs uh, or whatever. Right. Yeah. So you're you're going to pay for it. So in this case, we searched the, her local area in hood County. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Granberry here. Uh, of course, this is where she wants to be. She's mm -hmm. not here. Uh, and I know there are other counties, so give, give us a break here, but I'm just giving you a basic look. If I saw you right here, I'd say, okay, well, she's doing something right, mm -hmm. but I don't see servedocs.net here. Um, why did I want to come here, though? What was the main reason? You were going to look at a competitor's maybe that had a cleaner site. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. So if I'm the searcher and I'm looking around for somebody, and let's say she was here, right? Like this person doesn't really nurture this listing. So let's say she was here. No website, right? Let's say she was here and I went to her website and that's what I saw. I'd probably come right back here and try click again. On, yep. yep, try a different website. Okay, look, they're in Hood County. Very good. This is this could be reviewed on its own too. But now I got some pricing. Yep. Okay, let's see. And I'm uh, I'm learning a little more. I'm not saying this is a whole lot better, but we got a phone number. We got the email. This is very similar, actually, to the other one. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm struggling to understand why. Why are we hiding the the get in touch stuff? Phone number, right. calendar button should be the very top. Just nice and easy for people mm -hmm. to get to, because people aren't going to necessarily scroll to the bottom. A lot of people don't have the patience to even scroll down the first page. Sounds crazy, but uh, mm -hmm. next time you're doing something on your own, pay attention to your own habits, and you'll you'll see that. You'll look at the top and maybe a little bit further, and you. Make your exactly. decision pretty quickly. Exactly, exactly. And so being in this, so this is one of the other competitors. So right away. Um, call us today. I see it. Call us today. Phone number. And I see what they do. I know what they do. Reliable processor. Phone number again, right? Mm -hmm. And and then again, contact mm -hmm. us. And then again, right? Because this is what's important. Yep. Is if I'm a scroller, let's say it loads right now and I start scrolling right away. Uh, well then, yeah, I have an opportunity to do it here. I have an opportunity to do it here. I have all these social media links too. Oh, they actually have a physical office. This this is a very basic website, okay? But it gives us what we need. It gives us as a as a someone who's looking for this process server uh, for this uh, specific industry. I've found what I'm looking for. Now, if you don't answer the phone, that's a whole nother can of worms. Yep. But but uh, and they're also listed uh, the third in the hot box here, and they only have one review. So a little tip: How important is it here, Jason, that uh, that that people get listed in this little area? It's really important because it has the most visibility. So when people 
you know, I used to work in um, home services advertising for Angie's List. You know, it was all about being in the top 10 in one of your categories. Okay. Right. And that concept you see has spilled over to everything in life. Uh, Amazon, Google, whatever. If you're searching for something, most people consider two or three options before pulling the trigger on it. So it's very mm -hmm. important. Reviews, or social proof is it's one of the most important things anybody can do if they want inbound uh, inbound leads for their business. Yep. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's big. And I, I call it the hot box. I think some people call it something else. Uh, but yeah, that's that right there is where you're going to get, start getting uh, stuff right away, get business right away, uh, phone calls and whatnot. And um, yeah, and then down here, you know, your SEO and stuff. So I like to look, I like this. Well, this is the first time I've actually looked at competitors of someone who submitted their website. Um, but I, I'm glad we did because, you know, this these guys right here, they did it right. You know, yep. all, all Texas process servers. Now, of course, we could review their website. I'm sure there's things they could they could change, but uh, they did a very good job of making Google happy with uh, all of the information, all the links. They did links to all their social media pages, which is huge, right, Jason? Like I was looking at the uh, authority uh, of, of all the different websites, right, that are out there to get backlinks from. And the number one, all of the number, like first 10 were social platforms. Yep. You know, so if you if you have a Twitter account, as much as I don't like Twitter very much, me neither. Uh, your your Twitter account, you better have a Twitter account that has a link coming back to your website because it's ranked, I think, ninety two in authority rankings. There's mm -hmm. not a better backlink, you know, that you could get for free. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so Twitter is like uncontrolled chaos to me. It just oh, has yeah. never made sense with my mind. I'm like, there's too much going on here. Yeah, definitely. So, um, so do we have any other tips here? No, I think we've uh, hopefully uh, suggested what we think would help and why. And I hope the the mm -hmm. person who has this site uh, hears the why and says, "Okay, their their heart's in the right place for me." So that's mm -hmm. where we're we're coming from a place of love. But I yep. think it's a good start for sure. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And I got to tell you, you know, when it comes to building a website, it, it can take a lot of time. And so if you're sitting here struggling and you're like, "Well, I want it to be nicer. I want to have better, uh, you know, better look to it and everything and design." Well, go check out MightyWebsiteBuilder.com and pick pick a template. I mean, I got process server templates on there, notary templates on there. And then, you know, when you want to start your email marketing campaign, Jason here will hook you up, right, Jason? What, if, what, if, what do you got going on right now, Jason, that you're most fired up about? Oh, man. Um, clarity. You know, just here recently, uh, sat down and kind of went through uh, everything I was doing in my business and said, you know, I don't want to do this anymore. I want to add this and just got clarity for the rest of the year and uh, you know, clarity on growth with some different areas, uh, just new focuses. Like I said, getting rid of some things that I've done in the past that I just don't want to do anymore. So it's exciting. Yeah. It's exciting when you remember that you have the power to go. Yeah. How about no, I'm not going to do that or I'm not going to yeah. take that call. So it's uh, it's great. Yeah. Fire, fire your customers sometimes too. You know, oh, yeah. when, you get, when you get customers, I was listening to a book. It's uh, the one page marketing plan. It's really yeah. good book. Yeah. And he was talking about how, you know, if somebody, if somebody's uh, taking, what is it? A snow leopard. I had never heard of that before, but actually the snow leopard is interesting because you get some customers. Uh, those of you who don't know what this is. The snow leopard is like that customer, that dream customer that everyone wants to work with, but they take so much of your time because you're, like, you know, spending so much time giving them free stuff and like, or like helping them more because they're just that ideal client, you know? Yeah. But it's not the reality. You got to build a tribe around people who are, um, I guess, the bell shaped curve. They're at the top of that bell shaped curve. Those are the ones you want to focus on because there's more of them out yeah. there. Yeah. Yep. So good stuff, man. So when it comes to email marketing, what, how can, how can people reach out to you and work with you? Yeah. Uh, intentionallyinspirational.com is my website. Um, it's probably the best place to reach out to me. A little chat feature in the bottom right-hand corner is uh, probably the easiest way for sure. So if you have any questions or anything, let me know. Definitely. So what is your parting, parting piece of advice for these website builders out there? Yeah. Um, my parting piece of advice is uh, just look at your own habits, right? When you're trying to get information about anything, what's important to you? What, what do you need to see in the first three to five seconds to, to pay attention you know, good headline, good, clear call to action. People have got to know where they are. There's nothing more confusing when you click a link and you go, what, 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 what did I, what did I hit? So keep it simple, but put yourself uh, in the shoes of the people that you're trying to target for sure. 
Great, great, man. Hey, I appreciate your time. And um, let's just let's just keep it going, man. Let's drop it, man. Let's let's just I want to have you come back on and talk about email uh, marketing again and, and maybe come on your show too. All right, sounds great. I'm in. That's cool, man. Well, hey, are you, you're gonna go you're gonna go get yourself a buck? Uh yeah, this fall. So hunting yeah, season well, for us uh opens about two weeks for bow, but I get real excited when it gets much cooler. So working on the late season beard now. <laughs> I don't know if you'll catch up with me though. This I don't time. think I will. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's good talking to you again, man. Yep, you as well. Take care. All right, we'll see you next time. All right, you guys, we've been just killing it here today. And I want to just go ahead and remind you to comment below and uh, get entered. $3,000, you get entered to win a $3,000 website credit. Uh, this website today wasn't wasn't too bad. I needed a little help. Jason came in, helped me out. We got some good good tips for um, servedocs.net. And so right now, really quick, I want to uh, remind you guys to go ahead and bang the heart button. If you guys haven't done that yet, you're going to want to do that. And let me tell you why. The number one reason why is because Google loves i mean social media loves it you get your little like button here boom you got your little heart button here actually let me bring jason back on i need some i need some help here jay <laughs> yeah, help me up. out here brother help me out which which one should they bang on whatever their favorite platform is man or all of them i mm -hmm. say go for all of them but whatever you like consuming on the most uh this one right here facebook facebook and youtube facebook Absolutely. you know you, Jason, you know the YouTube that little red thumbs up. That's actually uh, that's a, it's actually gray, not red. But YouTube, I had to make it for YouTube. And then you got Twitter there, giving the hearts. They don't yep. have like, they don't have a like. They don't have a thumbs up. There's is a heart. So they're anyway, that they're that different child, aren't they? <laughs> they gotta be different, man. You gotta be different. See, see, I just love talking to you, man. But no, for, goodbye for real this time, all right? <laughs> all right, man. I'll see you. <laughs> goodbye for real. All right, see you, man. All right, guys. All right. So again, make sure you go bang the heart button and put your website in down below. And I'm going to go ahead and announce this week's winner of the $3,000 Mighty Website credits. And that is Jeff Amesworth. Jeff, if you're watching, congratulations. Go ahead and reach out to me at mike at mightyautomation.com. His website has not been reviewed, but he he won. That's the thing. I might not review your website one week. I might review your website and somebody else wins. All right. I can't review your website and then you win. That's not necessarily how it works. It's completely randomized. Jeff, you want a free $3,000 website setup. Congratulations. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Business Marketing 911 with my man, Jason Wright. And uh, we'll see you next Wednesday at 9 uh, in the morning, Pacific Standard Time. And guys, stay mighty out there. Take action in your business. All right? All right. Peace.